Finally this evening, Adam meets a Sanish woman who's overcoming life-altering surgery by inspiring others on tonight's Sawatsky sign-off. The first time Emily had her head shaved, she was a healthy grade 5 student raising money for a children's cancer charity. It was important to me and I'm, yeah, I'm happy that I did that. <laughs> The second time was after Emily felt a pain in her knee during a hike that led to the 21-year-old being diagnosed with bone cancer. You look back on it like, holy crap, like, what have I just gone through? What Emily did was beat it, and thanks to the addition of this metal support, she was able to save her leg and keep doing her favorite thing. And just enjoy being out there and then have a nice view at the top, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> A big hike was likely one of the ways Emily was set to celebrate being two years cancer free. Until the doctor said she wasn't. And to win this fight, she'd have to lose her entire leg. It took me a while to be able to just look down under the blanket in the hospital. I wasn't able to do it for like a couple days just because it's so much information that you're, you wake up without a leg. Although her family was there to support her, Emily felt compelled to connect with others who'd experienced the same thing and posted this video showing the countdown to her amputation. My whole world like flipped upside down, but I beat it now for the second time, so that's cool. And focusing on what's good is now Emily's goal, which is why she titled her countdown video, 50% off petties, let's go. Which she followed up with this. Is it terrifying? No, I don't think so. But if I can like post that and like show other people that it's okay, that's what was important to me. Her positivities inspired 43 million views on TikTok and a fundraiser for a special prosthetic leg to support her active lifestyle. But just like when she was in grade five, Emily says the most gratifying thing is simply being able to help others. If I can be that to someone else, that's what helps me too. So it's a win-win. <laughs> Adam Sawatsky, CTV News, Saanich.